Hey, Jenna, can you do me a favor? Can you hop in the car? Can you rev the engine for like 45 seconds? Oh, yeah, sure. How's that? Yeah, perfect. Hold it there. Hold it there. I need that temperature. These are going to be great. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lean Fitness. We're just kidding. But today we're talking about meal prepping for eating in the car. We've listened to your feedback, and one of the things that we've heard over and over again is that those of you that travel feel like you can't meal prep because you're in your car. If this is your first time at this channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a regular, welcome back. Do me a favor and hit the notification bell, that way every time we put out a video, you're going to know about it. So today's topic is really about the actual methods that we use with the problem that you found yourself in that Jenna's just listed. So. This here is called an isolator fitness bag. I've had a few different lunch bags. All of them seem to have their own problem except this one. This one's durable, it will keep your food cold for hours, and literally all of our nutrition for the day goes into this one bag. So mine is a smaller version of the ISO bag. I don't need as many meals and as much stuff in my bag as Matt does. He has the bigger version. There's a couple different options you have from this company. Let's take a look inside my bag. So, I've got a lot packed in here. I'm a snacker, so I have lots of snacks. My sugar snap peas, cheese cubes, almonds. They're just in the ISO bag just to keep it all in one place, not because they need to be cold. One of the advantages of this ISO bag is that you can put freezer packs in here to keep your stuff cold inside the bag and it keeps your drinks on the outside cold as well and lastly my lunch so if you're wondering how do I get my frozen or cold lunch hot well we've got a solution for you so this is my bag and I, I eat more meals than Jenna per day and just like her I have ice packs in here it comes standard with this bag it's got all sorts of little nooks and crannies and while this isn't necessarily a review for this bag I love 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 this bag and there will be a link in the description okay great Matt you got some frozen meal prep food well what do you do with it good question if I know I'm gonna be in my car for a majority of the day this won't be frozen I will take this out the night before put it in the fridge and then the heating method comes. In comes the Hot Logic Mini Portable Oven. I've done a video, a full-blown review on this thing. What is this thing all in all? It's a mini portable oven that uses no buttons, no timers, nothing. You just plug it into any standard outlet and it starts heating your food up. And this is the same one from that review. It's held up like a champ. Basically what it is is a hot plate that's inside of an insulated bag. Cool thing is, this will go into any standard outlet. It's got a little plug here. Into the AC adapter, you have this bad boy, which I'll also link in the description. And then you plug into your cigarette lighter. Because as we all know, we're definitely still using cigarette lighters in 2019. All right, here it is. Standard cigarette lighter. Plug that bad boy in. And then in goes the Hot Logic Mini Portable Oven. And now you can hear it working. The great thing about the Hot Logic Mini Portable Oven is you can plug it in and forget about it. It's very safe. If you don't want to watch that review video, because it's very informative, you should check it out. Just know that it's very safe to put things in. And as I'm driving throughout the day, I will put the food in there and just drive and forget about it. And then when it's time to eat, I unzip this bad boy and get to eat. This bag is great for keeping all of your eating utensils and condiments right here in the bag. Place for your napkins. Place for your silverware. We even got a salt shaker. While this video isn't meant to plug specific products, we are plugging the products that we use because we've gone through the trial and error of using other products and this is what works best for us. These bags are extremely durable. I highly suggest them. You get what you pay for. This is my second one in six years and the first one I still have and it works. What we do on the side here is blender bottles, the big ones. 
because the problem is you have the smaller blender bottles or a thermos that doesn't hold enough. This is a full blown liter. This is a thousand mLs right here. So if you put one here and then one here, you've got 2000 mLs or two liters for the day. You can refill that as the days go. Cool thing is those ice packets that fit right here inside cool this drink as well. What we've also done as a heating method in the past is if you don't want to order a Hot Logic mini portable oven, stop at a gas station and use their free microwave. I've done that many, many times. The point here is you have to prepare ahead of time and that's what meal prepping is. But it's the same thing with your bag. You have to prepare ahead of time and look for the unexpected and knowing I don't really know how much time I'm gonna spend in the car. So you have to prepare ahead of time and bring those snacks that Jenna has and use those things like the utensils. The other advantage you have for preparing your meals ahead of time to eat in the car is that you're not spending the limited time that you do have waiting in line in a drive-through for the food that happens to be available in your area. You can eat the food that you wanted to eat ahead of time that you planned for. We get it. We know you're out and traveling. You're busy. But don't let fast food or your car be the excuse for your fitness. This is just our process. You can find your own process, but this has worked for us for six years. You don't have to be perfect at this eating in your car thing. You just have to be better than yesterday. Every day. It's so weird being on the ending. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs>